Hello and welcome to Back of a Napkin. My name is Matt Herford from NetApp. Previously I've spoken to you a little bit about Cluster Data on tap and the amazing ability it has to provide the data uh, storage services you need both from Flash right down to backup and archive uh, and then extend those services out into cloud environments whether it be public, private or hyperscaler. Today I want to talk to you a little bit more about the specific solutions we have in the hyperscaler environment because I think they're pretty unique and they provide some real agility for an organization to move their data into a cloud environment. One of the major inhibitors we hear from our customers is I can turn the compute layer on in about 15 minutes with a credit card, but how do I get the information there and how do I get it there securely um, to actually leverage that compute power because it needs to process something. Um, I want to refresh your memory a little bit about the platform we provide with Cluster Data ONTAP. Um, and we spoke previously about how this data management layer itself with ONTAP um, provides the, 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 the power behind the data fabric. And then what we do is we plug in various different storage services, whether these be Flash or SATA or hybrid arrays. Now we also spoke about the fact we can connect this into cloud environments. So if we draw this up and bring out this large hyperscaler environment here, and this may be AWS, maybe Azure, maybe Google, what we can do is we can co-locate inside the Equinix data center a NetApp private storage solution. Now, some of the benefits this can give you is around security controls and data sovereignty. You can extend your network out and you can manage this data platform that's in the Equinix data center connected by a very fast big blue pipe into one of these compute environments and you can leverage the agility and performance of the compute environments and all the benefits that cloud gives you but have control over your data layer. It also simplifies your backup environment. If you're choosing between various hyperscaler environments for various applications but have your data on one single storage array, it provides you with a very simple platform to back up that storage array rather than having to manage four or five different backup solutions or architectures within the hyperscaler environment itself. So that's now private storage. A number of customers in the Australian New Zealand market that are actually running this platform to provide exactly this agility. Um, the other solution we have in the market right now is probably even more interesting. And that's the ability inside AWS to run what's called Cloud on Tap. So Cloud on Tap provides all the same functionality as on Tap does in your data center or on your FlexPod. Um, but what it's really doing is, uh, instead of running on some physical infrastructure like NPS does, it's running as true software-defined storage. It's running inside the Amazon infrastructure. You purchase this product from the Amazon marketplace and you pay by the hour to consume it in exactly the same way you would an Amazon compute resource or an, or an Amazon you know, uh, private storage environment like S3 or Glacier. The benefits here, though, are that you can provide the same feature-rich storage operating system, or you could develop in the cloud environment and then port that straight back to your production environment, understand the data um, uh, methodologies are the same, the management is the same. So we have two broad solutions in market right now. Net private storage, a physical array right next to the uh, cloud compute environments, and we have cloud on tap, a true software-defined storage platform providing all the same benefits running inside an Amazon environment. Um, if you'd like to know more about either of these two solutions, uh, please contact me or click on the links below. Um, thank you for your time. I look forward to talking to you next time. Cheers.